Peter Chang here, and today we have a real treat. ASRock sent us a X79 Extreme 4 review sample to review and unbox. What's great about this board is that it's really a mid-range price board with a lot of awesome luxury features that you would find on a much higher priced motherboard. To start with, we see that it includes some trial software, Media Express 4.5 in this case. We have XFast RAM, and what this essentially means is that the XFast RAM would create a virtual disk, so we get like a memory performance. So for example, in graphics intensive applications like Photoshop might run five times faster. We could also fully utilize memory under this, oh, this uh, bus as well. So for example, if you have a 32-bit OS, uh, with the fine-tuning utility, we could actually take advantage of wasted memory space. And because we have more memory and we have more bus lanes freed up, we also have an enhanced internet experience. And also, because it's some of this memory gets cached, it actually uh, increases the lifespan of your SSD drive or hard drive as well. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. We notice that we have a, it's a brand new socket. It's socket 2011. And here's a small print on the side of the box for a little more of the product specification. But once again, we see that we have uh, four DIMM slots for DDR3 RAM. All right, let's check out the back of the box here. Let me get this into focus here. So we talked about the XFast RAM. Uh, we also have an XFast Lang. Uh, the Lang actually has uh, application prioritization. So for example, uh, if I'm gaming, we actually get like a uh, lower latency in uh, some games. And also on YouTube, we have traffic shaping, which is really awesome because you could watch YouTube HD files and then also download uh, HD files simultaneously and there's also a uh, real-time monitor in the uh, software that's included with this motherboard. This board also features a graphical UEFI BIOS so it makes it much much easier to overclock your system and also if you're running Trenton Green you could also run DigiPower as well too one of my favorite features in this board is the XFast charger which means that I could also charge my iOS devices like my iPhone and my iPad with this device as well. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this DigiPower here so you could read the little specification. So if you're if you're environmentally conscious it's uh, it's kinda nice to know that uh, you could still pull a lot of this core power and voltage and you could do this more efficiently and a little bit more better as well. And I just really love this these uh, box graphics. It's very nicely done. And let's go ahead and zoom in towards the top of this case here. We didn't really get a great look at it, so and let me go and get this in focus here. There we are. So you see it also has some interesting ports here. We also have a IEEE 1394 port and we also have a one eSATA 3 port as well too. And also we have two USB 3 ports and about 12 USB 2 ports. So ample amount of USB 2 ports. Very cool backplate shield. And check it out we also have PS2 ports so it's a very cool thing about the PC world is that if you still have some legacy devices there's it's nice to know that uh, ASRock is still supporting that and also if you're a little bit more modern if you want to run eSATA or USB 3 those ports are also supported here on the back too as well very cool alright let's check out the manual here and it looks like there's a disk in here and this disk 
contains like all of your your motherboard drivers and software and if you want the more recent versions of those go ahead online and uh, you can download those online as well very detailed instruction manual and even though the book is relatively thick it contains like all these other languages so uh, for example the English part is actually fairly short so it's not as complex to build a PC as you would think and what's really cool is they also include a quick start guide for the EUFI BIOS interface very nicely laid out there and what's really cool here is it's an application note for setting up a RAID configuration on SATA 2 and SATA 3 very nice and considerate of ASRock to insert that note in there it's not like some other motherboard manufacturers that leave you guessing about uh, steps and procedures for hooking up a RAID on, on their system. And I'm kind of struggling to open this component here. My guess is it must be a SLI bridge. Uh, generally you don't see uh, AMD inserting in bridges in, into motherboards so this is, has to be an NVIDIA product. And it is. It's a three-way NVIDIA SLI bridge. Very cool. And check it out. You also get an idea of what the spacing with three cards is going to look like as well. So because we have the three card NVIDIA SLI bridge, there should be a two card NVIDIA SLI bridge in here somewhere. Check it out. We also have SATA cables included. Very nice of ASRock to do that. And these cables also look long enough that it should be able to fit into a full tower case and also a mid tower case as well. But I really love uh, love it when motherboard vendors include SATA cables. That's really awesome. They don't have to. It's it's just nice that they do. Uh, my one of my little gripes is that when you buy a printer, the uh, printer manufacturers don't include uh, printer cables with it. Very cool. So here is our two card SLI bridge. So check it out. Gives you an idea what the spacing is going to look like. And I really like it how ASRock includes like the uh, the hard shelled uh, SLI bridges versus the uh, kind of like wirely cably type SLI bridges. All right, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and take out our Extreme 4 board here. Very cool. It looks very aggressive. I love the look of that heatsink fan. Um, ooh, it's also got a THX logo on there, so we definitely have a uh, THX chip. Very beautiful layout here. Let's go ahead and pull it out and then I'll get the camera in focus here. So it's very well packaged. And I just love this design. Check out the bottom of the board. It, everything looks so nice here too. Very cool. And I love this heatsink. It reminds me of a uh, transformer. It's very cool, very aggressive styling. And these capacitors are actually golden color, which means that they're actually premium capacitors. Very cool. Premium capacitors are usually 100% made in Japan and they actually have a uh, higher higher life rating and also what I really love about this board is that it also has these power on and reset buttons and also the uh, doctor debug LED there so we could actually troubleshoot uh, problems on the fly there and very few boards actually have that feature so that's really nice too and we also here we have our fast lang that's very cool there's a port 
very cool and we also have our USB slots we have a USB 3 and a bunch of USB 2 slots as well in our uh, 1394 slot there as well too for port for that as well and I'm just kind of mesmerized by this this premium gold capacitor it's very cool it's very rare that you actually see a motherboard vendor actually care that much about uh, capacitors there's a I could actually honestly tell you that I've used a lot of boards that actually had really bad capacitors and these just look very solid and it's just a, a level of detail and craftsmanship that has gone into this board that's uh, so impressive and here we have our RAM slots we have four 240 pin DDR3 RAM slots okay let's check out the back of the board once again we have the uh, PS2 mouse and keyboard port we have a clear CMOS button which is really awesome love it absolutely love this feature we have a spiff port for audio USB 3 USB 2 USB 2 we have eSATA LANG ports another eSATA 3 very cool IEEE USB 2 and we also have your standard audio ports but except on this board it's not standard it's the uh, THX chipset very cool here we see all these wonderfully beautiful gold plated premium capacitors that make up the advanced V6 plus 2 power phase for this board and essentially these capacitors in this layout allows for very easy overclocking on the ASRock X79 Extreme 4 motherboard. It's really refreshing to see a mid-range priced board with all these advanced features like onboard CMOS reset, onboard motherboard power on, uh, onboard motherboard reset, uh, THX chipsets, SLI and Crossfire compatibility, and most importantly, there are the premium capacitors so that you could actually overclock. I'd like to thank ASRock for sending us a board review, and also thanks for watching, and remember, everything matters.